I really appreciate you joining me today, and this is some news coming from the West Midlands. Birmingham Police, in association with West Mercia Police, have executed warrants and arrested a man for operating the county lines from Birmingham to the Worcester area. He was selling crack cocaine and heroin. Police said he even made deliveries to Alton Towers theme park during the time that he was selling drugs. Watch out. We'll find you one to take with you and we'll get you sorted properly, right, mate? Take me with you? Custody. For what? Right, we've got a search warrant for the city. You're under arrest for conspiracy to supply class A, so you don't have to say anything. I may already defend to you, right, mate? Should question questions later on in court? Anything you do say, mate, we're giving evidence. I need to know if you've got any phones at the address. You've got that one, which you were messing about with when I come in. What's the back? Where's the phone? The back of that? So what's what's that? I don't know. Right, have you got anything else at the address? Any cash, drugs? No. Nope. If you don't, we're going to be turning up. So I don't know how many you can do. Yeah, yeah we will. We'll, 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 we definitely will. Body cam footage that has been released today showed the moment that Mohammed Ali was arrested at his Birmingham home during an early morning raid. Police found Ali in his bed trying to scratch the number off a drugs hotline SIM card in a desperate bid to distance himself from the county line. The police said that it was known as the Shack Line and it supplied Class A drugs in Birmingham and also Worcester. And the investigation revealed the 25-year-old sent out bulk messages advertising the drugs to over 100 users. The messages would say, new gear, online, new stone, good gear, good stone. Selling drugs from 9am till 9pm every day. During the raid, the police found a large quantity of Class A drugs, dealer bags, cash and high item values and jewellery, despite him not having any legitimate declared income. He went on to admit drug supply from the 25th of April and the 4th of November last year at Birmingham Crown Court on the 21st of April this year, and he has been jailed for five years. The investigating officer DC Ali Payne from West Midlands Regional Organised Crime Unit said that Ali was in possession of one kilo of drugs, but we suspect that he was supplying a lot more. They said the drug line travelled a lot and it had a lot of different customers, and they suspect that he had drug runners that would carry out small street deals for him so he'd distance himself from the dirty work. So I really appreciate you joining me today and I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.